A couple of weeks back, I stumbled upon these incredible living room videos on Instagram. I was impressed, thinking about how amazing they were, but upon closer inspection, I realized that they were all created using artificial intelligence. Curiosity led me to the Instagram page responsible, and I discovered they had almost 10 million followers, and all these videos are getting millions of views, so it's quite clear that this page is making a significant amount of money each month from these videos. Surprisingly, upon closer examination, I found that creating these videos is quite easy to make, and you can create them entirely for free. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to make these relaxing videos so that you can start your own faceless Instagram page or YouTube channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. To make these types of videos, we need three things. AI-generated room images, a background copyright-free video with some required elements that resonate with your video. For image generation, you can use Midjourney, probably the best. However, if you are on a budget and want a free alternative, you can use Use Leonardo AI. After you are logged in, select the absolute reality model for this generation. I have created a prompt that you can use to generate these rooms. You can find the prompt in the description below. Feel free to change the prompt to your liking, but keep in mind the most important part is that you tell the generator to make a big room with large windows and warm soft lights to give it a cozy feel. Make sure to upscale your images using the HD upscale option. Once done, now we need to cut out the windows in our image so that we can add some background scenes in it. For that, simply open your image in Photoshop and use the Polygonal Lasso Select tool. It lets you draw straight lines. Just pick the tool, start at one corner of a window and select each corner until you finish the whole window. Then, press the backspace key on your keyboard to delete that part of the image. Repeat this process until all the windows are deleted. In some spots, cutting out the windows is a bit tricky, like around the couch. The easiest way is to use the magic wand tool. Just select the tool, click on the window, and the magic wand will automatically choose part of the window. After that, you can hit delete. Once you are done, completely save your image. Now we need to find a copyright-free background scene for our video. For that, visit pixabay.com and search for the scene according to your liking. For the demonstration purposes, I would be choosing a rainy hilly scene that totally resonates with my image. Now to bring our image to life, we would be using software called CapCut because it's very user-friendly and easy to use. Open your image in CapCut and look out for the missing elements that will bring your image to life. For example, here, we need to add candle flames to our image. For that, just go to YouTube and search for a candle green screen video. Choose one you like, download it, and then upload it to CapCut. Now position this candle flame video above our house image and trim the video according to your time frame. After that, go to Remove Background Option. In the Video section, turn on Chroma Key in the top right corner and select the green color of the flame video using the color picker. Increase the strength until the green background disappears. Once you are satisfied with the flame, resize it and place it accurately over the candle. Duplicate the flame layer two more times and position them accurately to make it look just right for your scene. To make things easier, just select all the layers at once and turn them into one compound clip. After that, export the video. But hold on, I forgot to include some visuals for the television area. For the demonstration purpose, I would be adding my talking avatar on the television. You can add any other visuals according to your liking. Simply open Photoshop and upload your desired picture. After that, select a part of the image that you would like to add to the television and copy it by pressing Command plus C. Once copied, turn off that layer and create a fresh layer and head to the filter menu to find vanishing point. Then click on the corners and edges of your photo where you want to place your desired image. Once you have selected your area, hit Command plus V to paste your frame into the grid, then drag it around until it fits just right. Photoshop does its thing and magically puts your frame in perfect perspective. If it's not spot on, no worries. Move and tweak those points until it looks just how you want. Once you're happy, 
click OK and save it. Now let's get back to our video creation. Import your background video in CapCut and place it below your room layer. Adjust it so that it looks perfect according to your room. Once you are happy, export your video. Now there is one last step that needs to be done. We need to add a fireplace in our room. For that again, simply go on YouTube and find a suitable green screen fireplace video and download it. Once downloaded, import the flame video and trim it according to your time frame. After that, simply repeat those same steps that I performed while placing candle flames onto the room. Once the fireplace is finalized, don't forget to make a compound clip of all the layers. This will make our process easier. Once done, Go to the ratio settings and change the aspect ratio to 9 by 16 or 3 by 4. Then enlarge the video and position it according to the canvas. To make the video move, place the timing bar at the start, go to the video section in the top right corner, find the position and size, then add a keyframe. Move the timing bar to the end, add another keyframe, and shift the video slightly to the right. That's it, the video is now moving. Let's check out the final result. Wow, this is great than I anticipated. You can also try out some other backgrounds for your video. Here are the results with other backgrounds. That's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting content like this. Feel free to share your questions or thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, happy creating.